What's up, middle schoolers? It's Mr. Marin. Today is Thursday, April the 2nd, uh, last class day of the week. Today, I would like you, for your assignment, to go on an art scavenger hunt at home to find a piece of artwork. And kind of like we practiced at the beginning of the year, if you were in art, I think it was during the month of September, we did a project where we practiced, or actually a couple of different projects, where we practiced using our vocabulary terms from our elements of art and principles of design to talk about art. So for today, I would like you to find some artwork in your home. It could be something that you made, it could be something a family member made, could be something that a friend made, could be something that was purchased somewhere at a store or at an art show. Any kind of art could be poster, could be the cover of a book, or a comic book, it could be a cover of a DVD or a CD, any kind of artwork anywhere. And I would like you to talk about it in terms of elements of art and principles of design. Um, I would like you to, like we did for yesterday's assignment on Wednesday, to make a Word document and upload it, your assignment for today as a Word document you could include a picture of the artwork that you're talking about, or you could just have the text um, of your response, maybe have a little bit of a description of what the artwork that you're talking about looks like, and then talk about the elements of art and principles of design. I'll show you some examples of that. Yesterday, even though I asked you guys to submit a Word document, a lot of you guys just left comments for your responses but it's a lot easier for me to enter grades and to keep track of who did the assignment if you actually follow directions and submit a Word document instead of posting a public comment. Okay, so please don't respond with your assignment today in the comment section. Please submit a Word document. Most of you did that. A lot of you guys, please follow that direction. All right, so we're gonna start um, on some examples. I'm going to find some artwork in my house and I'm going to talk about it using principles of design and elements of art. I'll have some uh, resources available for you guys on the Google page so that you guys can have access to those vocabulary terms and see a little bit more about them. <clears throat> Here's a piece of artwork. I actually found this one um, in an alleyway when I was living in Chicago. And so I don't know who made it, but it's on a canvas and I thought it looked cool. So here it is. Using our elements of art terms and principle of design terms, there are a lot of different colors, shapes, and types of line in this artwork that create a sense of variety. That sense of variety, I think, makes this an interesting artwork. Right, so I use both elements of art, principles of design to talk about this piece of artwork. Let's move on to another piece of artwork. All right, and here is a magazine. Um, I've opened it up and I found an artwork. And here I see that the colors that are used in this artwork are all sort of brownish tan colors. So the colors that were used in this artwork create a sense of unity, right? So unity is our principle of design where the picture, everything in the picture seems like it goes together. And that's because the colors are all pretty similar, these sort of muted brown and tannish sorts of colors. I found another art. This one See, it's kind of got like the railroad tracks going off into the distance and a landscape and some eyes over here. So one way I could talk about this using our elements of art and principles of design are the dark values and the light values 
that kind of separate this artwork in half create a sense of contrast, right? So value is our element of art that I'm talking about. It's how light or dark something is. So we have dark and light, so value. And contrast is when you have opposites of something happening in an artwork. So this one, the two opposites are dark values and light, light values. And I think this picture, something that helps to make it interesting is the contrast that happens between the two extremes and values in the two halves of this piece of artwork. And for this next one, um, I, it's actually a series of different artworks that I made um, where I painted um, in these kind of skull shapes in different types of textures and drew with pen on top of them. Each skull I tried to make sort of uh, with different types of lines. <clears throat> um, right, so... Let's talk about these with our elements of art and principles of design, right? So if you check these out, there's a few different ways we could talk about it. First, if you want to use the principle of design of contrast, like we did for our last one, uh, you can see that there's a contrast in between sp using space, right? So the background space, the negative space, just that black paper in the background, that's contrasted with the very colorful foreground shapes, right? So the colors used in the positive space and the lack of color in the negative space, elements of art, space, and color, create contrast. That's our principle of design. Um, also, if you look at all of them, there is variety in the shapes of the skulls. So shape being our element of art, Variety being our principle of design. But there's also repetition in the shapes because they're all kind of using the basic skull shapes and those blobs of color to color them in. All right, in our last example for today, um, I found some art on a vinyl record cover. Um, so if you have any records at your house, maybe use those as examples of artwork. Uh, this album artwork, if you look at it, it's an actual optical illusion. So I would say that that is the principle of design movement, which is created by the shapes the shapes are organized in a way that when you look at this, hopefully this turns out on webcam, but the illusion kind of makes the shapes look like they're moving around a lot. You could also say the principle of design at play here that makes it interesting is repetition because of all the repeated shapes. The shapes, the same shapes are repeated over and over and over again to create repetition. All right, so make a Google document or just a Word document Find one piece of artwork or more in your house and use one, at least one element of, of art and tell me what principle of design is at play in that artwork that makes it interesting to you.